So many of you asked me about my audio for my YouTube videos, how I record audio, how I edit audio, and today I wanna show you exactly that. Before I'm gonna start with the video that I want to mention something, all the products that I'm going to mention in this video are going to be linked down below in the description. Now that being said, I wanna show you all of my audio gear for my YouTube videos. So this is the main brain behind all of my audio. This is the Zoom H1N audio recorder. I'm using this one for the last year and a half or something like that. I've made a whole video about it. And if you want to watch it, I'm gonna leave a link up here. It has built-in microphones. You can connect external microphones to it. It has a micro SD card slot. You can power it on with AAA batteries. You can also power it on with a power bank. You can connect it directly to your iPad, iPhone, uh, whatever smartphone you have to your laptop and use it as a main audio device. It has great quality and it's also not too expensive, only comes at 100, 110 US dollars. And for the microphones, in the past I used to use the Rode Video Micro Shotgun microphone. I had to boom it on a stand and have it a little bit out of the frame like that. But now I kind of got lazy to boom it and rig it with a long cable to my Zoom H1N. And that's why I'm using the Rode SmartLav Plus lavalier microphone that I'm using at the moment to record this audio. This microphone is just much more versatile than the Rode Video Micro. And also with the Rode Video Micro, you need to have a lot, a lot of acoustic foam in your room or a lot of blankets or mattresses or something like that, soft material items to kind of have really great audio quality. And my room is kind of echoey and because of that, the Rode SmartLav Plus works better for my kind of situations. All right, so now I wanna show you how I import my audio, how I edit my audio on my iPad Pro. And by the way, everything that I'm going to show in the iPad is also going to work on any iPhone. All right, so I have here a dongle with a micro SD card and inside the micro SD card, I have an audio file from the Zoom H1N with a Rode SmartLav Plus lavalier microphone. I'm gonna plug it to my iPad Pro, go to the Files app, move the file on my iPad, copy. Now I have the file on my iPad. I'm gonna close this window, remove the dongle. Now for the software, I'm using Ferrite Recording Studio. Let me show it to you. I have it here already opened uh, in my Apple Store. Ferrite Recording Studio. I think this app costs like $30 or something like that. Highly recommend this uh, application if you're going to edit a lot of audio on your iPad. All right, so now let's open Ferrite Recording Studio. Let's go and import an audio. Files, Zoom 001. And we're gonna click on Edit. Zoom in a little bit. Play the file. So first thing that you can hear is that I'm clapping and I'm doing this for every single video before I'm actually starting to talk in the video because I want to synchronize easier in post-production the audio to my video. The next part that I'm doing is I'm going to effects and I am importing tone boosters, equalizer, barricade, and Clive Grand Bruce Free. And with equalizer, I'm basically EQing my audio Barricade, it's compressing my audio. Bruce Free is noise reduction. All three of these uh, plugins are paid. I think Equalizer by Tone Boosters is around $5. Barricade is around $5 again. And Bruce Free is around $20. But Bruce Free is the best noise reduction application on App Store, in my personal opinion. So let's go to the Equalizer. I already have a preset for this microphone. Okay, Rode Smart of Plus. And this is how I equalized uh, the audio for this microphone. Okay, you can play around with the settings as you want to. Click Done. And then I'm going to Effects, Barricade. Then again, I have a preset for my Rode Smart of Plus. I'm gonna click on that. This is an audio test with the Zoom H1N audio recorder and with the Rode SmartLav Plus lavalier microphone. How does it sound? Check. Now, the last thing that I'm doing is I'm using Bruce Free. So we're gonna go to the quiet part and I'm gonna click on effects, Bruce Free. <clears throat> now I'm gonna click play and hold the, this ear button. And you're gonna see it's gonna learn noise and it's gonna remove the background noise from my air conditioner and stuff.
This is an audio test with the zoom. So as you can see, the noise in the background is much less. My voice is louder and sounds much clearer than before. So let me play you before again. I'm gonna delete everything. This is an audio test with the Zoom H1N audio recorder and with the Rode SmartLove Plus Lavalier microphone. How does it sound? Check, 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 one, two, three, check. Check, 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 one, two, three, check. And now this is with all the effects added onto the audio. This is an audio test with the Zoom H1N audio recorder and with the Rode SmartLove Plus Lavalier microphone. How does it sound? Check, 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 one, two, three, check. Check, 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 one, two, three, check. All right, and that's pretty much it. After that, I am going out, exporting the audio yeah, to the Files app. I usually export uh, to the LumaFusion folder that I'm going to show you now. So on my iPad, LumaFusion, User Media, and here already I will have a folder with my video title. So let's say for example, audio tutorial, it's gonna be called. I'm gonna save it there, save. And I also recorded a clip with Filmic Pro before that. I'm gonna also save it at the same location on my iPad, LumaFusion, user media, audio tutorial, save. Now we're gonna open LumaFusion. Create a new project, audio, I'm gonna go to imported, <clears throat> and here you'll see audio tutorial. Here I have the audio that I edited with ferrite, and here I have the video. I'm gonna import the video, and this is recorded with my iPad Pro, and here you can see I'm clapping. Now you see here the waveform of my claps, I'm gonna synchronize the audio that way with the waveform of the claps. I'm just gonna adjust a little bit and I'm gonna move it around to roughly the same spot, something like that. Hear it again. Seems good this for me. This is an audio test with this. Now the final step is to remove the audio from the original clip. Click this uh, button to remove the audio, delete this, and that's it. Let's cut this thing here. This is an audio test with the Zoom H1N audio recorder and with the Rode SmartLove Plus Lavalier microphone. How does it sound? Check, 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 one, two, three, check. Check, 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 one, two, three, check. And that's pretty much it. This is my whole process from recording the audio to importing the audio, editing in Ferrite, importing to Fusion, synchronizing the clips, and then removing the audio from the original clip and starting editing the video. And that's pretty much it. If you have any questions or comments, let me know down below. If you have any recommendations, let me know down below. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.